Hi, I'm Dan, and I will fully admit that I suck at graphic design. Yet somehow, I've been able to make dozens of beautiful WordPress sites, and my clients love my work. So how do I do it? In this class, I'm going to show you how. Now, if you know nothing about WordPress, you're in the right place. If you know some stuff about WordPress but want to take your game to the next level, you're in the right place because I'm going to let you in on my little secret of how I quickly design websites that are beautiful and responsive and get them out the door so I can get on to the next client. The secret to that is a theme called B-Theme. Now, I am the cheapest person on the face of the earth, but yet I actually pay for this template for every single client I have because it's worth it. So whether you're looking to build your own blog or website, or you want to crank out a website every four hours for one of your clients, stick with me for the next couple of hours, and we're going to go through how to make a site using B-Theme and a bunch of the other plugins that are available for WordPress. So the vast majority of you will never actually have to install WordPress. Whatever hosting provider you use will most likely have a one-click installer that will just automatically set up WordPress for you and will take care of all the details. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you would like some instructions on how to install WordPress or would like to know how I'm doing it offline, let me know and I will walk you through that in another video. So right now I am at the website and I'm using this thing called localhost, and so we're just going to pretend that this says something like uh, anothermaker.com, but for my purposes, this is anothermaker.com. And so we have the basic WordPress site, and it just has some dummy information on there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to log into that, and we're going to do wp-admin, and that will get us to the back end, and then we will put in our password. I'm using a very insecure admin and password just so that I can show it while I'm typing here. Um, so then I'm taken to this thing and this is my WordPress dashboard. We're going to spend the vast majority of our time here, but uh, I'd like to give you a quick tour. The first thing you wanna do is go to this updates thing and just make sure that your WordPress is up to date. If there are things that needed to be updated, go ahead and run that process just so that you start with all your security fixes in place and that kind of stuff. So. The next thing we're going to look at is posts. When you think of WordPress pages, I want you to think of them in two forms. The first one is a post, and that's a lot like a blog post. And posts are normally categorized. They're normally dated. They're normally uh, sort of a, a bunch of things based on topic. And then there are pages, and pages are more static information. Like if you think about somebody's contact page or their about us page, that doesn't get updated very much. It's just a static page that doesn't change. So um, when you look at posts, you can come over here and you can make new posts. And if you were writing a blog, you would have um, many, many posts that can be in many, many categories. And you can do a lot of fun stuff with that. So the, the posts... Think more along the lines of blogs and stuff like that. Then you have the media manager. And as you upload photos and even some videos and icons and things like that, they will get stored in your media manager. And then we have pages. And so as you can see here, there's a sample uh, privacy policy and, and things like that. Things that aren't going to change very much are going to be pages. And then as we come down here, you can have comments. I don't usually recommend leaving comments on uh, without a lot of moderation. They wind up just getting a lot of spam and they're pretty annoying. Uh, then there's some appearance settings and we're actually going to go through some of this right now. As you install different themes in WordPress, they're all going to go here. Now a word about themes. Themes have a lot of power. And so adding a theme and activating a theme to your WordPress site basically changes the look and feel of how you're going to work with that site. And as you can see, or as you will see, when we upload B-Theme, there's going to be a ton of extra tools that are added and a ton of extra features. And so that's one of the reasons why in this course I recommend, at least as you're learning, picking a theme and staying with it because all these different themes are going to have their own look and feel and things are going to move around. And so it can be pretty annoying to jump from theme to theme. So we're going to start with one theme and then we may get into some other ones as we go on. Um, but here's your theme and you would be able to activate this theme here by clicking activate. And I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see 
that once I do that, then the entire look and feel of the site, it went from that red site to this blue site. And then if I come here and uh, let's activate this one, 2020, then we're gonna go back to more of a red look and feel. And so that's what themes do. Themes change the overall look and feel of your site. Um, you can come in here and there will be some things that can be customized. And uh, we're not gonna play a lot with those right now, but there's some customization options in there. There's some widgets, which are things that kind of go around the page. Uh, let's see if I can find a widget here. This is probably a widget, this meta thing down the bottom where it's just some extra links. And so, yeah, if you look here at this meta, uh, you can delete that. And then now let's see if that went away. Yeah, so meta went away. Uh, there's just little things that are kind of made to stick at the bottom and around the sides of your page. Uh, your menus, you're gonna spend a lot of time making menus and, and getting them set up the way that you want. Uh, background color, theme editor, we're gonna leave all those alone for right now. Uh, the next thing you wanna be aware of is plugins. And plugins can offer anything from a tiny bit of functionality, like let's say a PayPal button or, or a share button or something like that, all the way to an entire system for managing your reservations at your resort. Plugins can be pretty much anything. And uh, the one thing I wanna warn you about plugins, when you first start out with WordPress, a lot of times you find 30 plugins that you like. And over time, the more you have, especially if they're written inefficiently, can slow your site down. And so I wanna encourage you to um, only activate the plugins that you actually need uninstall plugins that you're not using anymore and and basically uh, use them and use them well but also use them sparingly and intelligently the next thing we're going to go on to is our user manager and right now there's only one user and that's me and i'm the admin uh, so i would be able to change my password and change my information in here uh, put a profile picture that kind of thing um, there are some tools and we're going to look, uh, so right now there's import and export stuff. Site health is a newer one they have that's gonna warn us about some things that we might want to look at. We can export our personal data, erase personal data. And then finally, we're gonna go to settings. And this one is very important off the bat. And the reason for that is things like this, this tagline, when you share your website to Facebook, they're going to grab a, haunt, a hold of this uh, just another WordPress site, and it's gonna be there until you do something to get rid of it. And so it's super annoying to have that there. So we're gonna we're gonna um, put something here. Let's just say, welcome to another maker, like that. All right, and we're just gonna put something there, and um, we're going to make sure we don't want anybody else to be able to register for the site, so we're gonna keep this blocked out. I'm gonna keep it in English. I want my dates to look like this. I want my times to look like this. I want my week to start on a Sunday. We're gonna save those changes. And then most of these other things we're not gonna to get to right now. We're, gonna, uh, we're not gonna to worry too much about our posts and our mail. We're not gonna to worry too much about how all this stuff looks, discussion. Uh, so we are going to turn off a lot of these other features because uh, they wind up being pretty annoying, allowing people to submit comments. We don't want that. Um, users must be read. We do want users to have to be registered and logged in to comment. And the reason for that is that we are not allowing other users to register. So in other words, that will mean that people will not be commenting on our stuff to begin with. Uh, so we're going to uncomment this and just, you know, kind of play around with the different settings you have. You would want somebody to, you would want to get emailed if you have a comment on your site because you shouldn't right now. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to kind of go through and leave most of this stuff set. The only other one we want to go to is the permalinks. And so when you look at your domain, you most likely want to have nicer looking links than this AM 2019. What I like to do is use the name. And so if I write a page called, uh, or if I write a post called creating a user spice plugin, I would want the actual page name to be creating a user spice plugin like that. And so we're going to save that change. And uh, so that's about it for this video. That's a basic introduction to what WordPress looks like before we start mucking around with it. So in the next video, we're going to buy and install B theme.